We are delighted to welcome to the cafe the wonderful Mia Blake as well as the iconic New Zealand actor and screen legend Ian Mune. These two stars are in a theatrical production called Spirit House at Auckland's Herald Theatre and they are here to tell us all about it. Morning guys. Hi. Morning. Yeah. yeah. Nice to have you here. Ian was just admiring my boots under the table. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. They're very nice. Me, Piachi, if, you if you're interested, you can get a pair. They'd look really good on you. Fine pair. They would. <laughs> <laughs> Me, let's start with you. What's it like working with Ian? Um, he's a... Oh, it's hard work. <laughs> Is he a tough one? Do you have to really wrangle him in? Um, no, it's been great. You know, he, he um, comes in with a sense of mana, I suppose, I can say. And he wouldn't say that. <laughs> but, um, no, it's great having his energy and his experience. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's a good little team that we have. So, yeah. And, and Ian, what's it like working with me? <laughs> oh, wow. <well. laughs> <laughs> I should be so lucky. <laughs> Actually, I hadn't worked with Mia before. And uh, when I was told of Mia Blake's playing, I thought, mm, I wonder what she's going to be like. <laughs> and on the first day... I sort of, and I thought, I can do this. Nice. <laughs> I can work with this. Mm -hmm. Nice. She's terrific. <laughs> yeah. Because she feels her way through the part, but this is working. Nice. Nice. And beautiful as well. Oh, I, I yeah. just yeah. 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 segment. Let's just keep going. Uh, I'm, I'm making it a shine now, Ian. I didn't want to share it. So tell us about the show, Spirit House. What is it actually about? Well, it has two parallel stories happening at the same time on stage. So there's the 1932 story about an artist, who's Ian, who's been a very accomplished artist. And, um, and then there's a nine, uh, 2016 story about a sort of younger artist who's more into um, digital media and new mm. media economy. And so mm. you've got these two parallel uh, stories, but they're running at the same time. And my character is actually in both worlds. So... Um, Confusing enough yet? <laughs> no, it sounds intriguing. It's it yeah. is intriguing. It's just sort of a fantasy sort of... Um, sort of it's reality mixture blend. I think we're Biff Reality out the window. Um, fantasy, not really. Magical, mm -hmm. yes. Spirity. Spirity. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> it is, it's spirity. No, that's true. Uh, Carl Bland is the writer and one of the directors, and he's done a number of these plays. Very distinctively, Carl, tend to be very funny. And then, just when you're least expecting it, you go, ah, oh, right. That's what I was actually reading. A lot of reviewers have said they actually gasped oh, yes. out loud mm. and then they heard other people gasping in the theatre yeah. around them. Yeah, mm. Very cowl. Mm. And it's been some time, in since you've um, taken on a role, a leading role like this. How does it feel to be back on the stage? I'd forgotten what hard work it is. Right. <laughs> um, learning lines, OK. People say, how do you learn all those lines? Uh, I say, well, you know, when I was a kid, I used to go into the grocer's shop and I'd walk down the aisles and there would be 2,000 items. I could hold up one and say, how much is this? And he'd say, three and twopence. Because he knew the price of every... How does he do that? Mm. But that's his job. Right. So actors learn to learn lines. So although learning lines is a pain... A big part. <laughs> Not a pain. <laughs> uh, the heavy part about it is actually, particularly during rehearsals, you have got to be on the ball from when you start until the end of the day. Right. And by the time you go home, I thought it was me because I'm old. <laughs> the second day, we turned up to rehearsals, said, I went home last night, I was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I thought... Because <laughs> <laughs> you must just have to be on all of the time when you're doing this to give a good performance. Maybe. You can't do it half. Yeah, and this is even more well, complicated because no. it's splicing from story to story. Mm. So you have to be ready to turn on a dime and be, oh, mm. I was here in this part and now I'm here in this with this other actor and mm. these guys have to keep it alive when they're not, you know, working with words in the story but they're still on the stage working. So it's... It's, you have to be really agile, hey? Well, a lot of the time, uh, I might be painting and doing dialogue at the same time. That's this one. <laughs> uh, or uh, Mia's off doing a scene with the other bloke who I can't see. And I have to keep painting. 
but I'm not painting on canvas, I'm painting on perspex. So everything I paint, the audience can see. <laughs> so half my time, I don't only have to learn the lines and all the moves. <laughs> you can learn how to paint. You can learn how to paint. <laughs> and can't just be drawing little smiley faces. No, 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 <laughs> just no. pretending. Or anything else you might want to be drawing on your canvas, exactly. you can't be doing that. Mm. The other bloke is Tim Carlson, who's also in the play with us, and also Min is Khan? Kim. Kim. Min, Min Kim. Kim, who is also in the play, and oh, he's plays a, a six-foot cat. Wonderful cat. So, mm. um, there's, there's the, the reason why I was pulled into Carl and Ben's work, so you've got Theatre Stampede and Night Song Productions working together, is when they work together, they, they create really amazing imagery, and mm. particularly with animals, and th what they do is they take something that is intriguing visually and match it with the intriguing story. So you have all these things working to support each other to tell this really c kind of complicated, but um, it pulls you along, the story, does oh, it? Yeah. A oh, yeah. And, and, and oh. it's, it's making you think the whole time, you know, but also get lost in those images. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds intriguing. I yeah. can't wait to see it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to come back in just a minute with Mia and also Ian and find out a little bit more about this play and what else they're up to straight after these. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with Ian Newn and Mia Black talking about their new play, Spirit House. But first, Ian, I must ask you, we've got you in here, we've just been talking about pork pie. You were the writer of the original Goodbye Pork Pie. One of the writers. One of the writers. It was, it was a cast of you, wasn't Jeffrey it? Written by Jeffrey Murphy and me, and then Jeffrey directed it. What an extraordinary and thing to be involved one. with was directed by his son. son. Yes. Uh, isn't that a really yeah. nice yeah. thing, that yeah. there's a whole family relationship yeah. there? So what did you think, having been so heavily involved with the original, when you went and saw the new one, the reimagining of Pork Pie, or Goodbye Pork Pie? I have to tell you, I was anxious when I went in. Uh, the trailer had been fantastic. That can be a dangerous thing, because the movie's got to be better than the trailer. Um, and I went in and big crowd, they gave the speeches, they said something wonderful. They said, we began this project from the perspective of Fano Whakapapa, family and history. And they kind of just took us in there. This film is beautiful. It is funny, it is fast, it is exciting, it is as ridiculous as the first one. And, <laughs> it is, it is and good. the characters have been rethought for today. They're different. Yeah, mm. they are. But they're sort of, it's the same story. And doesn't wonderful. New Zealand just look incredibly sexy? Oh, the just the knocked off so many mo uh, movies off the map for mm. showing us New Zealand looking fabulous. Absolutely. Oh, no, and they will be so pleased you, you think that. It would be such an honour hearing those um, words coming I from you, Ed. Yeah. I'm a hell of a glad I didn't have to come in here and say, well, yeah, you know, no, <laughs> I didn't have to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, and me, um, I just wanted to ask you, you're, you're based in Queenstown at the moment, so you're doing a lot of travel. You've got a little business yeah. down there, haven't you? Yes, we've got a business called um, Sherwood. Sherwood. It's a yeah. hotel, um, music venue, um, Restaurant, amazing, amazing restaurant with a um, garden that supplies 60% of the veggies in summer. And nice. um, wow. yeah, it's a pretty amazing place. So you're doing that. You've got your, you've got your little kids. Yeah, I'm in support role with Sherwood. I can't be there every day. My, my <laughs> man's the one who's <laughs> running play, Sherwood. So but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, my little kids, Isla and Leo. Hello. There. Um, I miss them a lot actually, but um, yeah, I, I miss my work too, so I'm lucky enough to be here and then I'll come back in July to rehearse for Streetcar Named Desire, which is Silo Theatre's production, so I'll be, I'll be going through some tough emotional days mm. for that with mm. playing Blanche, so that'll be... Blanche de Bois. Oh God, <laughs> what have I got myself into? But yeah, mm, it'll be amazing. What yeah. indeed. Oh, it'll be tremendous. You've got to push yourself, because if you don't, then who's going to? Exactly, yeah. And what about you, Ian? What's up this year? Yeah, apart from this play, what happens next? Uh, this finishes uh, on the 5th of March, so just that for the tickets, right? Yeah. <laughs> 17th of February, the 5th of March. Yes. <laughs> Part of the fringe. Uh, Herald oh. Theatre. <laughs> round the back of the AIT Centre. Yeah. Um, then I have a long rest. Nice. 
I've got about three scripts that I'm supposed to be writing. Oh, exciting. So uh, that means I can, the only physical exercise will be, you know, the number of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, how I, do, I do the same. Like that? Do you type like I that? I do type like that. Incredibly quickly. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for both coming in. Um, it's been spectacular talking to you. I wish you the best of luck for the yeah. rest of the year. Hopefully we'll get you back in here. Don't miss Ed Mune and Mia Blake in Spirit House at Auckland's Herald Theatre from Thursday the 16th of Feb to Sunday the 5th of March. Good luck, guys. Thanks for coming yeah. in. Yeah, thank Thanks you.